All right, everybody, welcome back. We are now in Canada again. Uh, it's been a long time. I think it's been about four months since I left the island originally. So uh, I'm really excited to get back up there. Um, we're at our marina. We haven't been able to make it across for the past uh, two days because it's, you know, it's thought enough where you can't ride a snowmobile safely and it's not thought enough where we could take a boat yet. But luckily, uh, our friend Dan, who also has an island on the same lake, has a fan boat and he just pulled in and offered to take us across. So looks like we'll make it after all. Man, I'm excited to get up and uh, you know start opening up my cabin again. Just being in the place I love most. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'll talk to you guys a bit more once I get onto the island. How much weight can it take though? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it takes, uh, well, the guys used to do a contract in the hat, eh? Oh, they yeah. carry all this gear in there and table oh. saws, oh, wow. cut off saws, everything, plus three guys, so it We're takes off. a pretty good weight. Let's yeah, step right. in the seat right. after, yeah. You guys will be okay with this? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to sit on someone's lap. <laughs> no. yeah. This is awesome, man. We need a fan boat now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fill you up with gas and whatever, or whatever else. <laughs>
getting a nice little fire going to heat it up a little bit before my mom comes across. And because it's uh, very cozy, it smells amazing. Such a nostalgic smell of uh, burning birch bark. Oh, I love it up here. Everything about being up here is just my favorite. Looking forward to spending all spring and summer and fall, hopefully. Maybe even the winter if I can get a fan boat. Just spending as much time up here as I possibly can. This is definitely my favorite place to be on the planet. And uh, I just love it so much, so glad to be back. Well, so we made it. Man, what an amazing feeling. Just the smell of the air up here and the whole feeling I get as soon as I show up. I just feel at home again and feel free. But uh, it was just pulled up at our family cabin. Looks like we have two full propane tanks and uh, a couple of jerry cans of gas. So we should be able to get power going. Although I think the solar panels have uh, got the batteries all charged up so we probably won't even need to start the Jenny um, at least for a while so man what an amazing experience that fan boat was uh, we had been looking at getting one ourselves for a while and uh, I think that kind of sealed the deal we definitely need to get one that way you know I could be up here and our family could be up there all winter and come up at any point in time and not have to worry about the ice conditions which would just be so nice. But speaking of so nice, I'm back. Well, let's uh, get inside and take a look. It's just gonna be a short little peek because uh, we have a lot to do to get everything prepped for tonight and uh, for our time up here. Lando, you remember this? Lando, come here, come on, go take a look. So, the workshop I was working on. Still gotta clean it up in here before I start any major projects. And my room. You know it's pretty dark in here, but man. Gotta get this all running again. Make my beds. Get power. Well, it all looks good in here. It's all pretty clean, so probably won't take too, too long. It's not even that cold, actually. Uh, we're, you know, very lucky with a warmish day to be coming across. So, yeah. Man, what an amazing feeling. Let's go check out the power systems and see how they're keeping up. And then... Uh, I'll do all the other things I need to do and I'll be back here as soon as possible. All right, so everybody's made it across safely. It uh, only took two loads, which is a lot less than we thought. That fan boat of Dan's can actually carry a lot more than I was expecting. So uh, we have most of all of our gear set up in the cabin and got the power going over there. So I'm just gonna quickly get the power going here and then I can uh, start cleaning it up a bit. But on top of that, we also got some ribs thrown on the smoker, which is uh, going to be delicious. And just the smell of that thing running is making me really excited for summer up here. Okay. One up here. There we go. Get this going. That should be all it takes. I couldn't be happier. All right, let's see if that uh, is all it took to get the power going. Some of the wiring in here is pretty old, as I was mentioning in uh, the videos where I was talking about restoring this, so I'd uh, like it if all this works, but we'll see. 
There we go. Awesome. We have power. Awesome. Great, which means the TV and the VHS player will probably work. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit in here. I'm not gonna do much of a deep cleaning since you know we got here a little bit late and uh, also I'm pretty tired from the whole drive across the country. So I'll probably just clean it up enough and then uh, you know bring some of the stuff I need to live in here, like my bedding and stuff like that, and just get it ready for uh, a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow morning I'll wake up early and start you know, like really deep cleaning it and uh, getting it ready. But it is a chilly one in here. I did find one of the propane tanks that should have enough. Um, this whole room is insulated and, you know, winter worthy. So I only need to run it for a few minutes for it to be warm enough. But um, that being said, it's going to be, who knows, it could be, you know, three days, it could be three weeks um, before the ice is, you know, boatable. Um, so I don't want to run out of propane too fast, which uh, reminded me of my main project. What I'm going to be doing as soon as, uh, you know, I get into town is hopefully um, either doing it myself, if that's something I can do. I'll probably talk to somebody and see what it actually, you know, entails to uh, redo a stovepipe like this. Or uh, if I can't do it myself, I'll get a guy in here to help me and uh, get a new stove. And that way I will never have to worry about propane again, except for cooking, of course, but it would just be really nice to have this stove working in here again. Well, the ice is a lot thicker than I was expecting. Uh, we did a few drill tests to, uh, first of all, just test the depth of the ice, but then also to drill holes for water, since uh, we obviously can't have our water pumps out or else they'll freeze. And it was about nine inches, just uh, a few feet offshore, which isn't thick by any means, especially compared to last time we were here, it was about three feet deep. But, uh, you know, for this time of year, it's just a little bit more than I was expecting, but it's kind of nice. You can still walk on it. Uh, I definitely wouldn't take a snowmobile or go too far because right behind me there, I'm not sure if you can see that line, is a pressure crack. So we're two different currents of the lake kind of join there. So they're constantly pushing against each other with ice until eventually it just shoves up and breaks. And uh, that's a pretty big one. So yeah, I think um, we might try a little bit of ice fishing. I'm not even sure if, you know, it's still time for that, but just, you know, somewhere close in here or something. Mainly just for fun because uh, we didn't get to do any of that this year. And it was a lot of fun last year. So it'd be kind of cool to drop a little thing in there. But, you know, today's just kind of you know, unpacking and uh, sleeping. And then tomorrow I'll really be able to, you know, walk around the island and take a look at everything and start cleaning up, which I'm really excited for. But for tonight, I'm just going to enjoy being up here, enjoy all the smells and fresh air, and uh, try and pace myself because I already have a feeling like I'm in a hurry to do some of these projects and... I just have a feeling like, oh, I'm going to be here for a week and then leave. But uh, I know I have all spring, summer, and fall here, hopefully. So I need to pace myself and uh, just enjoy my time here. All right, so I got basically everything set up just for a quick uh, crash here. Most of my stuff is in now or in the other room there, and I just need to organize it tomorrow. My bed's made, the power's running. Uh, I've got some water that was filtered, and I'm about to turn on the VHS player for a movie tonight to see if that still works. I most likely will. Everything stayed pretty warm in here um, this time, and hopefully everything's running good. 
So yeah, everything's good to go. I don't have much propane. It's something I didn't really think about since I'm just using this little heater before I get the uh, whole stove fixed. Um, so I'm probably just going to use it like right before bed for a couple of minutes, heat it up a little bit, and then, you know, just do that every night. But yeah, feels good to be back. We got a little bit of a sunset. I wasn't able to film too much today, except for on my phone, because uh, most of my cameras and stuff are still packed. But next time I'll have all the good cameras and, you know, sound recorders and stuff. So you can really, you know, feel what I'm feeling up here this early you know, season up here with all the birds, you know, the crows all making their noises and the cracking ice is just amazing to hear. I was just sitting out on the porch and you could hear, you know, a crack in the distance and then hear it go all the way through. That's exactly what it sounded like, by the way. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to go to bed pretty early today. And then uh, in the morning is when the fun really begins. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Well, good morning, everyone. As you can see, it's a pretty cold one up here. We have a, a beautiful snowfall in it. Kind of feels like I got transported back into Christmas, or at least into uh, you know, like December, because uh, a few weeks ago, I was down in Arizona, where it was the dry desert, and then now I'm back up north in the cool breeze and the snowfall again, which I'm absolutely loving. When I woke up this morning uh, it was a little bit chilly so I turned on the propane heat and then went and looked out the window and that's what I saw and there really is no better way to wake up than that at least in my opinion so I'm just so happy to be back here in the cozy cabin and uh, 
This snowfall, though, did make me think of how nice it will be when the stove is running again. When I can get this going, uh, I'm pretty sure with this model of stove I could even, you know, boil water on top of it if I had to. But uh, today is my dad's birthday, so I'm not going to be doing any projects around the cabin, and uh, I'm just going to be spending time with family. On a day like this, it's uh, you can't get any cozier than snow falling outside of your window and the hard wind blowing, and you're all safe and warm inside your cabin. So we're going to spend lots of family time together. But before that, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some of the things that I'm planning and then also to kind of give you a little recap of, uh, you know, what I'm doing here and uh, where I am even because I'm sure some of you um, haven't seen the beginning of my channel where I started out here. So you're probably wondering what's going on, but uh, to keep it brief, I mean, I have a I have a video a while back. I think it's just called My Story, which explains my story. So if you'd like to see that, uh, go check it out. There's years and years, seven to eight years, I think, worth of footage of our whole family story and um, some of our travels and time up here on our family channel, The Epic Family Road Trip. So make sure to check that out. And then uh, also there's just tons of videos of my time up here on my channel earlier on. But um, just a brief overview is uh, my family has had this island. Um, my dad and his brothers all have cabins on it. Uh, it's a really remote island off the grid in uh, northern Ontario. But they've had it since before I was born or just as I was born. And I've been coming up here um, as much as I can since I was very young. It, it definitely feels like home to me and uh, I enjoy every second I get up here. So recently I've been spending more and more time up here and this year I'm planning on uh, spending the entire year. I'm not sure how that's going to work out exactly during the winter time. As we saw coming in, uh, it can be quite difficult during uh, a few months out of the year. But if I can, uh, you know, find some sort of fan boat or something like that, then I would love to stay the winter, but I'm definitely going to be staying all of the spring and summer and into fall. So I'm going to have lots of time up here to work on the cabin and, uh, you know, improve it a bit and get the workshop running in top order. There's a few tools I want to get in there because one of my passions in life is uh, just crafting things, you know, being as self-reliant as I can. So whether that's woodworking or blacksmithing or you know, just growing my own uh, vegetables and food. I love all that sort of thing. Even foraging is something that I really want to get into more this year. Um, you know, finding edible plants in the wild and medicinal things. So you can look forward to all of those things and uh, everything that entails. Um, on top of that, uh, you know, just island life. I, I'm not, a, you know, a how-to channel. I'm not a professional in any of these fields. I'm just learning. But uh, I hope you guys will enjoy following along as I learn everything. And uh, hopefully you can learn something along the way as well. And as well, just enjoying life in the wilderness. Uh, like I said, there's nothing better in my opinion. And I hope you guys can, you know, share that with me. So basically with this cabin, um, it's the original workshop that's on this island. It was built back in the 50s, along with all the other uh, Scandinavian scribe log cabins on this island. And uh, for a long time, it wasn't in use, so it's it was kind of run down, or not run down, but um, you couldn't really use it because there's so much stuff accumulated in it, old tools, old fridges, and stuff like that, that you could barely walk around. And this room was uh, in pretty bad shape. As you see, the uh, stove that's in here, you know, the chimney's uh, gone, the water isn't running, the electricity wasn't running when I first got here. And I just spent the first four months up here just cleaning it all out and uh, getting the electricity running. And this year I'm going to be getting the stove and water going. So then it'll be a fully functional living area. But then in the workshop, like I said, I'm also going to be turning that into a full woodworking blacksmithing shop. That's, uh, you know, if there's any sort of project you need done, you can go in there and do it. So, And then uh, the outside of the cabin was in uh, 
need of cleanup. There was a huge pile of wood that had been sitting there for many years in front of the cabin. Um, and it started to kind of rot into the ground and it, it would smell when you walk past and there's a whole bunch of just pieces of random stuff in it as well. So it took me a good, you know, month and a half to cut all of that up and burn it. Um, I had to be careful of what I was burning because obviously a lot of it was green treated and had other things. So I had to take my time and make sure I did it right. And then there's uh, another pile of wood I'm still working on. It's mostly gone, so I should be able to finish that up fairly soon. And then just a whole bunch of odd pieces everywhere else. So the cabin, uh, it's still, you know, not where I want it, but it's a lot better than it was. And I just really enjoy working on it. I loved this cabin ever since I was young. I loved coming in here and looking at all the woodworking tools and stuff and always dreamed of one day being able to use it again. So that's one of my main goals when I'm up here. But basically, I'm just trying to, you know, learn how to be self-reliant and, and how to live up here off the grid and uh, everything that has to go along with that. So... Yeah, like I said, I hope you guys will follow along. Um, make sure to check out some of those earlier videos if you want to get a m bit more of the backstory. And I'll be here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know um, it was a bit of a jump from Arizona to here. It was just a, a long, long haul of driving and then you know, working out imports and a lot of stuff like that. But we made it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, a special thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my Patreon channel. That really helps a lot. Your support and uh, all your feedback is uh, really, really appreciated. So thank you for that. And uh, as always, I will see you guys next week.